Hello everybody, I'm Ixicall and in this video we're going to install Minituria, the resource pack and the mod for 1.12.2. This mod has a lot of potential, so let's grab the Minituria hammer and don't forget to subscribe to me as we install this pack. I've never used it before but it has a lot of potential. Look at this hammer, you can basically change the block states with it. This is a very very good tool. Enough of that, let's get started with the installation. First, you want to head over to Minituria, click Java at the top, and once you've done that, you can basically download the mod and the resource pack. Agree to their terms and conditions. Basically, it means don't sell it, and nobody wants to be doing that, that's bad. Once you've clicked on this link, you'll be sent to Mediafire, which is a completely free download. Once you've got that, there's the resource pack and the mod in this WinRAR folder. Done. Now head over to Optifine, click on Downloads, Show All Versions, scroll down to the bottom where you can see 1.12.2 and get the version for Forge 2847. This is so you can install shaders should you want it. Skip the advert and then download that. Once you've got Optifine, we're basically ready to install the mod. So now we need to make a profile. Go on your Curse Forge launcher, type in a profile name, I'm going to call it Minitoria, select the version 1.12.2. It's quite far down in the list. Once you've got that, it's for Forge and you want to click 2847. That's important, so now we can use Optifine at the same time as this installation. It doesn't have any mods, so open the folder at the top. Once you've got that, you've got your downloads folder and your mods folder in this instance location. Drag over the mods, now make a resource folder and call it resources with an S. Go in there and basically put in the resource pack. Everything is ready to go. Go back on your Curse Forge launcher and find the shaders pack. I'm going to try Mellow. This one down here looks pretty interesting, but I warn you, the game may crash a few times while you're using these shaders packs, and sometimes it crashes while you're installing the resource pack too, but don't worry about it. Everything's ready, click the launcher, click play, accept the warning, yes I understand the risks, Minecraft will load, it might take a long time to load because this is an older version. When we click on mods, you can see that Minitoria is ready. It does also have Optifine, but don't worry. Let's go ahead and create a new world on Creative. Make sure it's super flat if you want to do that. Turn the structures off, let the cheats on, and then create a new world. Again, this might take a little while, but once you're in the game, it's ready. It doesn't look like it's ready, but it is. Click on the options and then you want to click on video settings, maximum FPS on the V-Sync, and then enable the shaders pack. That does take a long time, and it may crash. Once that's ready, it does say there's an error, but it's working, look. Go back into options and resource packs, and enable the mini Touria resource pack. This did crash for me as well, but the resource pack is working, and it does take a few times, but I'm in. And it looks absolutely brilliant. The grass seems to be very beautiful. I'm wearing a rather stylish hat, and I've got the mini Touria hammer in my toolbar, because that's a very important tool to use while you're building with this mod. If I briefly look at the interface, you can see that all of the blocks have changed, and I've got five pages of different architectural elements to try out. If you want to, you can head back to the website again, and you can download their little sample world. Again, agree to the terms, get the Mediafire link, download that, and now I can play around on their little sample world, which is pretty cool. Open up your Minituria instance, and put in the new world in your saves folder. Done. When you go into that particular world, you can see there are three or four plinths with different mini little worlds in. They're pretty cool and it shows you a few interesting block choices too. Back in my sample world, I've decided to show you all of the blocks that are available in Minituria, or at least some of the pages, because it's nuts. As I skip ahead, you can see the standard default blocks already look pretty good. This is like a brilliant resource pack in one of my top 10s or something. It's really interesting what they've done with all of the icons. If you skip ahead, you can see now we're into the Minitorial world. Some of the blocks are not ready, but the hammer is a very important tool. I mentioned that. I believe you can change the state of things. I've got a dashing hat and a little backpack, and now I'm ready to explore the Minitorial world of blocks that I've never used before. Look at this nature. It's got so many choices. 
I'm very interested. Look at the smoke. Shining particles look very interesting too. Put those down. Okay, they're pretty cool, like a little light box. Cool, that's really interesting, isn't it? If I go back, you can check out all the other different things. The plaster choices. Let's have a look at some of these. Yeah, they're pretty cool. The cobblestone choices for the ground. Archways. Other interesting things like road markings. Wood choices. There's loads of these. And this is only the first page of Minotauria. Let's get this arch thing. What do I do with that? Well, you can use the hammer to rotate it. That's pretty cool. You can either left click or right click. It doesn't destroy it with the hammer. And everything's absolutely brilliant with that. Obviously, you can use that in some kind of roof on the front of a building or something interesting. The timbers look great. These pattern blocks look amazing. I'm really, really impressed with the Minotauria mod. Let's have a look at these gold things. Wow, that's pretty interesting. And you can change the design with the hammer. I am thoroughly impressed with this mod. Back on the website, you can actually have a look at some of the Minotauria challenges. I am definitely going to do all of the challenges, including the ones in the past, because I think they're pretty interesting. Roses to start with. I've actually missed the bricks one. I don't have enough time to do that. But Minotauria is absolutely a beautiful mod that I'm definitely going to be using in the future. I'm just going to try out some of these things. I've got some fantasy blocks, which look pretty cool. And I'm going to stick some awnings on it. Yeah, that's cool. If you use the hammer, you can change the way it angles as well. And it connects. So you don't need connected textures while you're playing with this. You can also change some of the colors with the block hammer. This hammer's pretty cool. And that awning is absolutely beautiful. What a wonderful resource pack. Let's have a look. I've got plants and animals. You can stick in birds. Some of these blocks are not complete yet, but that means they're going to work on it, doesn't it? Some of these plants, let me see. I like this big one, this big red one, this pink one. I'm just going to try them. And I'm going to grab this wheat as well. Maybe this big dandelion thing. That's pretty cool. So let's put this one down. Wow, that's pretty good, isn't it? Like a giant dandelion. That could be good in a house. The wheat looks good, and you can put that on some farmland. I really like that. And this campanula, whatever it is, looks great. Nice. I like those flowers. They've also got these little flower boxes, and you can put tomatoes in them or something. Let's have a look. Strawberries. Yeah, look at that. You can have a little planter box outside your house. Brilliant. Okay, so animals. You've got a little birdie. I like that. That's pretty cool. And a crab. So you can have the crab there, look. Put the bird on the floor. Maybe you could put it here. Oh, I got rid of the strawberries. Okay, so there's a few problems with it. I guess there's a few minor issues. Hmm, never mind. Let's put the strawberries back. You can't crouch and put the bird. That's okay. Let's hit it. Okay, it changes it to a seagull. I definitely don't want to be having a seagull in my build. Those things. But yeah, I've got some wonderful birds there and a little crabby. Nice, I'm liking that. Outdoor exterior items look pretty cool too. Lots of different things here. Ooh, stepping stones. Okay, that's interesting. Some clocks, a street light. Let's put the street light arm down. You can, mm, you can stack those, I guess. Let's try the hammer. Let's see what happens. It changes it to like a frame thing. Obviously, I've got to work out the details on that, but it's a pretty interesting mod. And they do look very beautiful. Yep, you can rotate them with the hammer and stuff. Not sure yet, but I'll learn it eventually. Absolutely will. Let's grab this little lamp. Now, it does say the lamp lights up at night. So it turns off during the day. Oh, no. With the hammer, it doesn't do anything. But yeah, that's fine. That's not an issue. The stepping stones look great as well. Nice. I'm really, really liking this. What else have we got? What else have we got? What, what can I look at? What can I look at? Fences. Yeah, they're pretty good, aren't they? The fences. Windows. Window boxes, like, oh, that's nice, isn't it? The stained glass. These doors are brilliant too. Oof. If you're having any trouble with this mod, just let me know and send me a comment. Subscribe to my channel. And maybe you can support me on coffee as well if you want to. This has been an absolutely brilliant mod guide, I hope. I hope it's helped. And I'm just going to check out a few more of these blocks. Let's get this. Let's get this. This thing, this wallpaper block. That could go inside the house between the bricks and, you know, the rest of the house. That's pretty cool. I like that one. Ooh, this is really exciting. What else we got? Tiles. Plenty of tile choices. Chairs. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I like these chairs as well. Pretty interesting chairs. A throne. Let's put the throne down. Yeah, let's sit on it. Let's sit on it. Oof. Now I'm the king in my backpack and explorer's outfit. That's pretty good, isn't it? Cool. I like the throne. That's interesting for a royal room. Lots of chairs choices. Tables. Yeah. I'm quite interested in this low down table. 
Yeah, it works. It's very, very low down. You can put things on it, I guess. Let's put this gold thing on. Whoops, okay. Well, yeah, it's good, isn't it? It's different. Cool, you've got this little um, other kind of thing, a rattan table. I do like the rattan lights from Cockricot Mod. It's pretty interesting. They sometimes tile. I'm not exactly sure how to tile this. It looks a bit like bamboo blocks, doesn't it, really? But they do tile sometimes. I'll work out how to deal with those table things later. That's not a massive issue. I'm just exploring all the different blocks. Furniture choices are excellent. There's also like a wardrobe, which Cockricot doesn't have. That's cool. They don't stack, but you can put them next to each other like this. That's pretty cool. You can change the doors, I bet. Let's hammer them. Okay, so you can change them to dark ones, and then they reconnect. That's pretty cool. That's an interesting feature I've never seen, actually. Cool, nice ones here. Furniture, interior items. They've got like dartboards and pianos. A billiard table. This little table football. Oh, foosball. Yeah, everybody likes foosball. Obviously, you only need one of them. Let's hammer it. Let's hammer it. See what happens. Okay, it changes it to like an arcade thing. Different versions of the table. You can rotate it. That's pretty cool. I'm really, really happy with this. What else have we got? What else have we got? Ooh, ooh. These shelves things. A smartphone? Okay, that's interesting. Let's put the smartphone down. A nice little black smartphone. Let's see if we hammer it. Yeah, okay, change the colour, the design. You can rotate it as well. Obviously, that would be good next to a couch. Pretty cool. Old computers, TVs as well. All retro old stuff. That's what I like. I like to see these things. Food looks great. It's got the steam on it, just like Cockricot. You can have hanging fruits and vegetables and fish and things. Drinks, pretty cool. The bathroom accessories look really good. Lamps, there, there's enough lamps. And then there's some steel choices as well. I like these lamps. Some of the Christmas things I'm not really bothered about, but I guess people like Christmas builds. That's fine. Steel is interesting. You could build a whole steampunk thing. Let's put this gear down. What does that do? Ooh, that's definitely steampunk. You can hammer it a few times, move it around a bit. That's a really, really interesting thing for a steampunk build. Nice. Last tab has, oh, transport. I was expecting another bunch of pages there, but no. With transport, you can make horses and carriages and stuff. You can make your own airplane, it seems, like propellers. This has been brilliant, and I'm really, really excited to test out the Miniaturia mod in my own builds. If this video has been helpful to you, subscribe to my channel and send me a comment. I'm trying to build it up. If you want to, you can send me a super thanks and maybe support me on coffee. I'm an architectural expert, or at least I'm becoming that. I'm Ixicol, I'm very good at mod guides too. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.